yeah. Heading back to the cave. I'm a little off from work, but it ain't nothing. I'm pretty happy that I'm able to do that hill, use all my gears. Yeah, at the moment, if you notice, I'm on a sidewalk, adjusting the cam and the lights. This is morning right now. So, it's a nice dark morning commute, nice and cold. So yeah, my other video, I think it was yesterday's video, um, let's talk about gears and shifting. So what I do is, I'm pretty sure other people do the same. My crank is usually on number two, especially uh, my bike is a little heavier. It smells like smoke out here, or burning rubber. Anyway, so, my thing is, right, as a commuter, gotta save energy. And you don't wanna sweat too much, or not sweat at all. So I pretty keep, pretty much keep my my crank on number two and my cassette on the smaller cassettes. Let me watch. I don't know which way this guy's turning. As you can see why keep it on number two see already look and I have room to shift so the thing is what I know is about a lot of people when it comes to gears especially road bikers like a lot of these guys, they keep their gears, their crank on the first one. So, to my understanding, the biggest one, right, is for speed. So, are you constantly speeding? You know? So like, I don't know, everybody has their methods of using what gears and when to use them, especially when they, they, they know their own road. Make sure I ain't go far out. Oh, it's the next block. But yeah. I went too far off. 39. I think I missed my turn. And I'm gonna have to take this right here. It doesn't matter though. What I like about this block is I can go straight for the middle. So yeah, um, I'm going to do the whole granny gear thing, there's times I ride with friends, right? Oh, now I got on number three, get some speed out of here.
but yeah. And I won't feel so fatigued. I'm not saying you won't feel some nice leg muscles. All right, what I was trying to say was, before I started paying attention, <clears throat> just cut through it a lot so I can talk to you guys better. You know, regular city hill. And for a lot of people, it's hard. And you don't gotta be like some of these road bikers. They had a long time to practice on that hill. And the hill I'm referring to, it's on 36, right? I mean, 35th Avenue. And Pinnacle used it a couple of times on my videos. So, uh, like, what I've been doing is, if I'm on the, if I'm on the strongest, or on the second gear, all you gotta do is just hit it up. Then. You hit it up with some speed, but you, when, by the time you get into the third or to a quarter, you might not even make it halfway to the hill, and you feel you need to uh, change, then you start slowly moving down to the easiest gears. So right now I'm on number two, and the cassette number five or six. Easy sailing. Armadillo tires. I love them. Feel more confident with these tires. Plus with the shifting and Now, we're coming in to be hitting our hill soon. <clears throat> still comfortable. Still pedaling. windy so I'm definitely not going to be flying up the hill with the biggest crank definitely not but anyway I, as we're getting closer to the hill still want to mention how nice these tires are and all city street pavements so far, good job. I haven't tried cobble yet, like, you know, but. So we are about to hit this hill.
pick it up a little bit more speed. Mind you, I'm tired from work. It's all right though. Just want to get on. It's go. It's cold out in the desert today. Okay, here comes the hill. So what I'm gonna do is pick up a little bit more. Start changing it up. I'm already satisfied in into the hill. Well, we're doing pretty good with our user there. But anyway, let's get to the point. There you go. Look at that. Just like that. And I'm not even tired. I mean, from work, yeah, but flying off this hill. I'm a little now out of breath from um, talking and going up the hill. But y'all see my point. And look how easy I just shift. <clears throat> and I even get up. All gearing. Whew. Oh, this talking. Ugh. And riding. I'm not something I'm not really used to. Spend out. I'm gonna change my gear, even though I'm spinning out. Or maybe not. So I changed my cassette, but I will change my crank right now. Yep. Whew, that was fun. So yeah, that was pretty much what I'm into now. So if I'm halfway the, up the hill, now I know you know I'll be able to use the the granny gear when I feel like I'm ready. So, and look, and pretty much with the right settings with the granny, you can climb all day while reading a book. And remember, this commuting is not for races. And I'm still feeling fine. Feel good about